In this video we go to look how pilots can achieve perfect landing in bad weather conditions. The visibility is reduced due to clouds, rain, snow, or fog when pilots cannot able to see anything in front of the aircraft, so how the landing is possible in these situations. In this video, we go to look the technical details behind the landing in zero visibility. In this situation pilots use instrument landing system to land the aircraft safely. A radio frequency receiver are placed inside the cockpit. These signals are transmitted from the airport that will give the guidance to maintain the center line of the runway. Pilot align the aircraft with the help of the monitor up down or left right to maintain the center line of the runway for perfect landing let's check how instrument landing system work instrument landing system that provides instrument based informations the instrument landing system consists of multiple radio frequency signals these signals can be divided into three types let's see what are the three types of signals and how it's work Localizer antennas. The localizer antennas are located at far end of the runway. It transmits a radio frequency signals. It indicate the center line of the runway. Localizer frequency are 108.1 to 111.95 MHz. There are 40 pairs of localizer frequency. Localizer frequency are VHF range, that means long range distance. The localizer signals provides horizontal or left-right guidance to the aircraft. These are the glide slope antenna, it is typically located about 1,000 feet from the start of the runway. Glide slope antenna transmits a radio frequency signals, glide slope frequency are 330.95 to 334.7 MHz, they are in short range distance, it provide vertical or up-down guidance for the aircraft. These two signals are transmitted to the aircraft receiver and it display to the pilot for navigating the aircraft. These are marker beacons antennas. There are three marker beacons antennas. Each of them transmits same radio frequency, 75 MHz. The marker beacons are located along the landing path. The function of marker beacons is to provide information about runway distance or how far the runway. This is the outer marker beacon. Middle marker beacon and the inner marker beacon. The inner marker are located approximately 1500 feet from the runway threshold. The middle marker are located at approximately 0.5 nautical mile from the runway threshold. That means it's near one kilometer. The outer marker beacon is located approximately 4.7 nautical mile from the runway threshold. That means 8.7 kilometers. Let's take a closer look. Pilots can control the aircraft with the help of instrument that will give the guidance for maintaining the center line of the runway. The monitor will display the position of the aircraft, aligning this position of aircraft with the help of this monitor, maintaining the center line of the monitor. For perfect landing, the marker beacons are transmitting vertical elliptical pattern of signals. That means the signals only be captured when the aircraft is passing over the marker, when the aircraft is flying over the outer marker. A stream of low frequency dashes will be heard with blue light indication in the cockpit. So pilot can easily identify the distance of the runway. The middle marker is usually about a half nautical mile from the runway threshold. The middle marker represent the point at which pilot has to decide whether he can safely land or go around and try again. The audio generated by the middle marker is a series of alternating dots and dashes at a higher frequency, with yellow light indication. The inner marker beacon are located near the runway threshold. The sound produced by the inner marker is a rapid series of dots at very high rate and high audio frequency with white light indication.
Finally the aircraft will land safely. That's it for instrument landing system. If you need any educational related 3D animations, leave the comment below. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button and enable the bell icon for future videos. Thank you for watching.